I just got done watching a video of a pack of zebras trying to cross the river. Because you know how animals, you know, they want to get to the other side to what to um, to the land, because maybe the land that they're at, maybe all the resources ran out or whatever, whatever the reason is. So they would go to the other side. Right? Well, uh, uh, to do that, they have to cross the river. So I seen a video of some zebras crossing a river, right? Crossing a river. And um, it was a big pack of them crossing, crossing, crossing. And there was some crocodiles that were slowly approaching the pack of zebras. They were slowly approaching the pack of zebras. And uh, eventually, the, the crocodile got close enough, and they and it bit one of them, right? And it grabbed a hold of it, and then other crocodiles wanted to come to his aid, and it and then they grabbed a hold of it and stuff like that. They was just chomping on it. Zebra tried to, to to escape and fight back, but it had no chance. And other zebras were just casually walking, like they ain't see that uh, zebra getting ripped apart. I mean. I don't know if I don't know if they have the ability to know that their fellow zebra is in danger or if they do, they like, hey, I can't help you. <laughs> I don't fucking know. But um, they was casually walking like, hey, I just walking, you know. But it was disturbing because in the video and you can type it in on YouTube right now. Um, the crocodile, one of the crocodiles bit. Because, you know, because zebras kind of look like horses. You, you know, horses have those long snouts. A crocodile bit the, bit the snout of it. And then it, twi and then it, it twisted its snout in the water. And then when the zebra got out the fucking water, the top snout. So it, it's like this, right? It's like this. The top snout got ripped the fuck off. And now it's just the bottom snout. And then another, and then another, uh, and then another crocodile bit that snout, off, bit ha half of it off, and it's just hanging by by a piece of skin. And then he, he ripped that shit off. Like, now the motherfucker don't have no fucking mouth. His mouth is just wide open, exposed. And it was just fucked up looking at that. I'm like, oh, that's fucking bogus, man. That's fucked up. No fucking mouth. Rip both parts of his mouth off. You know, and then more crocodiles came. They just five, six of them. They just going to work at it. Zebra still alive. It's still at this. At, by the time the video was over, the zebra was still alive. It didn't even die yet. Rip that motherfucker to shreds. And I, I, I ain't like, I ain't like looking at that. One dude in the comments was like, "Oh, crocodiles are badass. This is badass. How the fuck is that badass? They ain't badass. It's fucked up." But in the day, you can't get mad at the crocodiles, which thus forth goes into the top of the video. Why did God make animals be carnivores? Why did God genetically design an animal with the with with the genetic ability ability and wire it in a way to where it, it was perfectly where it was designed to eat another animal? Why did he do that? Lions, carnivores, wolves, dogs pr prior to being domesticated was carnivores. Well, dogs still are carnivores. Um, um, you know, leopards, cheetahs, um, certain sharks and shit like that. Animals that were designed to rip another animal to shreds. My question is, why did our creator make it like that? Because I know if I was a God, I would not make another animal genetically programmed and designed to rip another animal to pieces. Right. Claws, sharp claws designed to rip flesh, sharp teeth designed to rip flesh. That's how they were made. You can't get mad at that crocodile. That's how it was fucking made. If you was a cro if you was born a crocodile and you wasn't born a human, you'll do that same shit to that damn zebra. You'll rip it apart. Rip that shit up like that. I can't do that to animal, man. I, I, I mean, me as a human, I can't do that. 
Hey, but if I was born a crocodile, I would do it because it's this instinct. They don't have the 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 brain function like we do to know. I mean, I mean, even if they did, uh, what are they going to eat? They, they got to do that. What are they, what are they going to fucking eat? They can't eat fucking fruits and berries because they're not designed to eat that. They have to eat fucking live, live flesh. That's how they were programmed to eat. If they don't eat that, they will die. If you fed a crocodile nuts and berries, it's going to fucking die. They have to rip that shit apart. Rip the face off of shit. They have to do that. That's fucked up, man. That ain't good, man. If I'm, all I'm saying is if I was a god, man, I would not design animals to eat, to eat another animal. <clears throat> and you, and you already know these animals have pain sensors. It's not like animals do not have pain sensors. <sighs> um, I, um, I have a dog, right? All of us, if you got dogs, there's been a point in time where you probably stepped on this paw and what it do? Ah! Ah! That little, ah! It hurt. It hurts. It hurts. Animals got pain sensors, just like we do. Right? Right now, you see on my lip? That's a scar right there. Because I was playing basketball and I accidentally cut myself. It hurt. It hurt. Okay? Right? Um, we hurt. They hurt too. So it's not like when these animals are being killed like that, it's not like they don't feel the pain. They feel that shit. All that gruesome shit they feel it they feel all of that right they they feel their bones being crushed they feel their flesh being uh ripped apart they feel every bit of it it's not good man it's not good oh it's nature that doesn't give it a pass man it's not good i don't like that man i don't know like i'm you know i'm not an atheist i love god but with that being said, that, that, that does not mean I don't question stuff. Why did he make it to where certain animals have to eat that in order to survive? I, I don't get it. I honestly don't get it. But that's all I got to say. I'm out of here.